ensuite nous partons vers euh, Balina, Balina ouais, ça. où nous refaisons encore des assistances et ainsi de suite. Euh, le même système. Le ouais. même système jusqu'à la fin de, des épreuves euh, en descendant vers, euh, vers Killarney. Hein, ouais. Où là on pourra se reposer un petit peu. Ça. It will really be the grand national of, of, of the rallies in this country because it's a four day and a two night event and, and one seems to wonder here at times at the start should they pace themselves on the car or should they go and have a go from the word go. This year is the first international rally in the European Rally Championship in which new regulations are being enforced and we have the full term about to enforce them strictly. As you know I've done the circuit for a few times and I have been reasonably lucky a few times and I'm hoping <laughs> that I might have the same luck for hoping as the car sticks out. We were going to come last year, but because of the political situation in Ireland, we didn't come. But now we've got a political situation in England. I thought, well, we'd come over here and it's probably much better, you know. There were 138 starters in the 1974 Benson and Hedges circuit, and each one of them went through a rigorous scrutiny as regards safety and eligibility before they were allowed to show their car handling skills around the roads of Ireland. Scrutiny took place at Enniskillen on the Friday morning, and apart from the Irish and British drivers, there were representatives from France and Norway. With scrutiny complete, service crews went to the nearby Manor House Kilides to finalise last-minute details. The number four seed, Billy Coleman, had Limerick man Steve Mills handling his affairs. That's vital, you know? Yeah. This, this was going on in Spain and they were getting yeah. loose and we last time... In fact, I wanted to be checked routine you know, after every stage. Yeah. 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 Every time you get a chance, stand yeah. on those things because yeah. the time is vital. Now the tyres when they finish, when they come off the car, must be marked, each wheel. The one that comes off the front right must be marked in the direction yeah. of travel. And they go onto the rack, the roof rack. Three Irishmen were already short odds contenders. However, last year's winner, Jack Tordoff of Yorkshire, in his Porsche, was the number one seed. We're going to try, try our best, but probably to Killarney, we may take the run a bit slower. What about the fellows behind you? Oh, they're good. <laughs> Adrian Boyd and Carl Curley and Billy Coleman, yeah, yeah, no, they'll, they'll, they'll go well. Well, that remains to be seen. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, certainly. Nice to be out again after, you know, having three months without any motorsport over the winter time. You got a special car this time? Well, it's a, a very good car. It's um, a semi-racing car, you could say. Should be very suitable, although I hear the circuit's a little bit uh, twistier and bumpier this year than it usually is. So uh, it remains to be seen just how suitable it is. If you weren't running, supposing you weren't running, who would you put your money on? Uh, it would have to be, first of all, uh, Cahill, and secondly, Billy Coleman. Well, the problem with this car here on my hill is that, that it's not really any more expensive than, than Adrian Boyd's car. But the problem with me is the fact that I own the car myself. And if we do substantial... If we uh, uh, have an off-the-road in the car and, uh, and if we damage the car in a big way, well, obviously, it's out of my pocket the money's going to come to repair it. So, I suppose... Under those circumstances, we'll be certainly having some respect for the car, you know. Well, I think this year it's going to be a very, very funny circuit from the point of view that the Ulster drivers don't really seem to have any advantages whatsoever because every year the circuit takes in a substantial amount of, of special stages up in Donegal. And the local drivers, Adrian Boyd and myself, have quite a lot of, of sort of local knowledge in that area. We don't have it on this year. and. 95% of the rally is taken part in the South, you know. The one man that I would be very weary of in the rally is Adrian Boyd to some extent, but also Billy Coleman. I think Billy this year will go extremely well in the circuit. Look, plays such a, such a big part in this game. It, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's impossible to say what would exactly one's chances are. Would you say, Billy, that you've got the best team around you this time than ever before? Oh, definitely, yeah. We would have liked to have a bit more time before the rally, you know, as I said, for making these final adjustments, but... Uh, I'm still pretty happy, you know, we're in a far better position than we've ever been, you know. Six, five, And so, at six o'clock on Friday evening, they set off to face almost 1,200 miles of tough and energy-sapping driving. Leaving the ramp at one-minute intervals, they headed for the first of 49 speed tests at St. Angelo's Airfield, less than two miles from Kilides. Tordoff, Boyd, C.B. Curley, Coleman and McCartney headed afield. They were the drivers most likely to carry away the major share of the £6,000 prize money.